to glad you're here with us on a Tuesday on a nice Tuesday where there's beautiful you're a kid up to now so think about it and get ready to play the countdown is going to start right now host swag looks like so happy to be here with all 13,100 and counting of you people who are ready to play and are hungry to win that money so how please serve up that Bonus sense B, right? Like, what would it be? I don't even know. You know? After question one, we'll give you one bonus SB for any Claim them, all right? Okay, people, can you do that for me? I think you can. Okay. Look, we're all.
and um, stop. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Question. Anonymous rhinoceros across. All right, so were you able to guess this one just by picturing the animal? Because that's the way. In the name. So make sure to do that. All right. Let's move on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Question number three. What was the state of Washington originally going to be called? All right, so before being named for our first president, the original no name was actually picked because it was a territory that surrounded a river of the same name. 149 of you guys got the one right, but I got to say, we're at number three, and usually around number three, that's when you guys are like, oh, hold on. 46.9% of you guys got the one right now. You're going to rejoin and you're going to keep it moving. 2,400 of you guys have rejoined for free. That's what I'm talking about. You know what you're doing. You're smart today. You're very smart today. You guys are like Next question worth one bonus SB. Question four. Which no I'm not here for a play about ghosts, especially trouble with some ones. You can call me. Spirit, we ain't doing it. Nope. Flight Spirit is the answer. 6,328 if you got the one. And back up. That's what I like to see. You know, we have like the. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, you guys come back and show me what you can do. So, congratulations on that. Congratulations. Let's move on to the next question. Worth one bonus SB. Question number five. Which female movie star passed her bus driver license test on the first try? Sandra Bullock, Audrey Hepburn, or Michelle Rodriguez? way for her to break through in Ninja Bullock is the answer because she just has that super tough and you know fast and furious you know so but it wasn't her you guys ready for the next question all right. Uh, worth one bonus sets. B. Here's question number six. Which U.S. president was once presented with a 1,400 pound block of cheese? Teddy Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln. That's a lot of cheese. So he kept this gift from Colonel Thomas S. Meacham in the foyer of the White House. So anyone who was hungry could pop in and eat some. He was like, you want some food? Go get some cheese. I'm talking about Mr. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson was like, we ain't wasting that cheese. 2,304 of you got the one right. And you knew that Andrew Jackson was the correct answer. Now, you know, that question six. That one was a 37.4% <laughs> of you guys got the one right. So I'm going to say take a deep breath. Because sometimes we need it in the middle of the game. And we're going to look at all 1,194 of you guys who did rejoin for free. 1,295 of you guys rejoined altogether. So you guys are trying to keep it going. That's what I'm talking about. 
take that chance. Uh, moving on to the next question worth one bonus SB. Here's question seven. What is the highest number found on a standard roulette wheel? 36, 50, or 77? 36, 50, or 77? All right, so it's the easiest game to play in the casino because, honestly, there's absolutely no skill involved. You pick a color and a number all the way up to 36, and you just hope the ball lands there. You hope it lands where you want it to land. 36 is the correct answer. 2,223 of you guys got it right. Congratulations. That's what I like to see. That deep breath helped. You see, sometimes you guys are probably like, why is he always doing this deep breath thing? Because it helps, you know. It gets your mind centered and stuff, and it brings you back to where you want to be. Um... By the way, there's only three colors, really two colors in roulette. There's red, there's black, and then there's like one little green. So, as Wesley Snipe says, always choose black. It'll work. All right, let's move on to the next question. Worth one bonus SB. Question eight. Who first published Little Red Riding Hood? Brothers Grimm, Charles Perrault, or Lewis Carroll? So the Brothers Grimm version may be the most well-known, but it actually wasn't the first version, which was published in the 17th century by who? Who? Charles Perrault. Charles Perrault is the answer. 1,322 of you guys got the one right, and you knew that it was Mr. Perrault. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I didn't know what you guys were. I thought Brothers Grimm might have been the top answer, but you guys were like, no, 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 no. I know my history. I mean, everyone knows the Little Red Riding Hood, right? Yes. All right, you guys. You ready for the next question? Let's go. With one bonus SB, here's question number nine. Butch's car in Pulp Fiction also appears in what other Quentin Tarantino film? Reservoir Dogs, Jackie Brown, or Death Proof? All right, so that old beat-up Honda Civic that Butch hits Marcellus Wallace with in Pulp Fiction actually popped up again just a few years later as the car of Miss Jackie Brown. Jackie Brown is the answer... 246 of you guys got the one right. Wow. Wow. Okay. 246 of you guys got it right. You made it this far. And guess what? You ready for that final question? Hey, friends. Welcome back. So, look. We've been talking about taking chances the entire time we've been here. So, right now, I'm going to give you a chance to rejoin, rejoin, rejoin. And, uh... Take that chance. 659 of you guys are joining for free, and that's what I'd like to see. All right? Uh, if you have fun playing this game today, tell your friends about it. Post to social media with the hashtag SBLive and include your share link. If people sign up with it, you'll get a free rejoin. All right? That's what I'm talking about. Also, before we finish the game, I have a way for you to earn SB right now while saving for your future by trying Acorns at Swagbucks.com. Acorns is an app that uses micro-investments to help you put money away for your future, okay? When you sign up for the app and fund your account with as little as $5, you get a bonus $5 added to your account, plus 900 SB, all right? That's getting money on money for saving more money, okay? It's all about the money, okay? If you have to be a U.S. You have to be a US player to qualify for sure, and uh, make sure to check it out after the game because we all need to invest in our futures, you know? Come on, let's be real. We want to have money when we're old, okay? So... Make sure to do that. Let's take a deep breath. Okay. Question 10 worth one bonus SB. Let's go. Which family of trees is represented by the spice used in every Cinnabon classic cinnamon roll? Fabassier, Cinnabossier, or La Rossier? So look, you can't have a Cinnabon classic without the cinnamon, can you? I don't think you can. Like, it's impossible. Cinnamon comes from a family of plants that produce spices known as Lorassier. Lorassier. 592 of you guys got the one right. I'm like, hey, hey, you knew that answer and you're splitting a grand prize. If it ain't about the money, hey, hey, 592 of you guys got the one right. You're going home with some money today. What's up, Superfly X? Hey, Sara 5, Trivia Army, uh, Jolly Lippy, AS21, Panador, Royal 243, and Galaxy Jane, to name a few. Congratulations to all of you because you're splitting that grand prize, okay? You're going to be getting your prize in the form of points. 
called SB, which you can redeem for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other amazing places. Look, we got the hookup over here. Uh, that was a real good game. All right, that was so much fun. And tomorrow, I'm coming back again with another one. So thank you so much for playing Swagbooks Live. And I'm Deshella by Logan. See you next time. Peace, people. Peace.